Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, hopefully you've been watching the last three videos I posted about, uh, you know, uh, just pushing the upper limits of MATLAB and how far I can take it with, uh, you know, using the MATLAB compiler. Um, I'm in MATLAB right now. This is uh, the release uh, 2011A. Uh, I just wanted to show you the uh, capabilities of MATLAB uh, calling a GPU. Uh, obviously I have a CUDA board um, from NVIDIA. Uh, you need to know anything about that. Just do CUDA search on the Quant Labs uh, YouTube channel. So let me show you what I've got. Um, I've got a script here, a uh, very basic one um, called Foo. And let me just pull that up again. This guy right here. Okay, so basically what I've got, I've got a very basic uh, foo function. And these are all the GPU calls right here. Um, so what's going to happen is it's going to make a very simple call. Uh, I think it's 6x6. Six six, uh, do a gather um, on the uh, using the GPU. It's going to create a random uh, GPU array. Uh, actually, its size is 10,000 by 10,000, so it's pretty big. Uh, and um, it's going to kind of do the same thing here. So it's going to run three command, uh, three GPU calls. Now I have pushed it to its limit. Uh, I tried 100,000, so 100,000 by 100,000 matrix. I mean, realistically, that's not going to be possible. But 10,000 by 10,000 is pretty good. Uh, so I can't go beyond 100,000. <laughs> um, this system that I'm running off of is a 8 gig system. Um, I'm not sure what the limitation is if it's in the CPU RAM or if it's in the CUDA card uh, RAM. That's a problem because the CUDA has only got 1 gig of RAM. Uh, might make a difference, but uh, regardless, I just want to show you uh, the whole thing running. So these are the commands or functions GPU array, uh, the gather, and that's pretty well. Just initialize to see what would happen. All right, so let's run it. Okay, so that's the script. It's gonna call a uh, simple uh, foo command. So off goes, it runs, blah, 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 blah. There you go, it's fast. So it's three calls. And here is the uh, array size, 10,000 by 10,000. Um, and uh, the type is parallel GPU. So that is from the GP, uh, uh, parallel computing GPU toolbox. So I've also put in here uh, something kind of dumb, but uh, I just want to show you this as well. Ah. Uh, okay, so I've got, I'm just going to copy this right here. Okay. What you'll notice is there's still memory in the workspace, so if I rerun it again, what will happen is you'll run out of memory. But if I clear all of the memory out, I can, so there's nothing in the workspace, off she goes, and now it's going to basically generate all the available um, GPU uh, data in those three parameters that uh, I wanted for, for the output or outbound uh, parameters. Let me just break that. So what we got here is again that G, 10,000 by 10,000, the X, 10,000 by 10,000. So that is the GPU um, running within the MATLAB itself now, lo and behold. When I tried to implement this using the MATLAB compiler, using that same code, doing all the same code, calling code in C++. This is what I get once it hits what, anything, a GPU array. Comes back, says deployment GPU functionality from parallel computing toolbox is not supported. Boom, problem. Uh, so that's the limitation you have. Runs great within MATLAB, but that's about it. Um, so you really are limited to um, the capabilities of uh, using MATLAB purely for prototyping. 
Um, and if you want to go all out with Dangerous and work with the CUDA library uh, directly from C++, good luck. You'll have a lot of fun with that. Um, but there's a, there is a product uh, out there that I posted about called Array Fire. But it's a $2,000 program. Uh, oh, sorry, library. Which is, again, it's not cheap. So there are libraries out there that can do that. Uh, but for the beginning, uh, for the start, this is where I stand and the limitations that I have. Hopefully you get a better idea of what I'm up against, and probably you too, if you go down this path later.